Hey guys, Ock Jelly Bean here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about stuff that I wish I knew before I came to Fisk University. This is important if you're thinking about coming to my school. So, got a whole list here. So, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is that it is a very small school. It is about 900 uh, plus students. Um, I've seen at least everybody like at least one time whether it be in the cafeteria or just like passing by to go to classes. I might not know their names, but I've definitely like seen everybody at least once. And going on with the smallness, like the campus itself is small as well. The longest like commute um, you're gonna do is like five minute walk from like one of the residence halls to the farthest like department building. Um, another thing that I wish I knew was they don't have kitchens. You cannot cook anywhere on campus. Um, and the descriptions online, I don't know if they changed it, but on their website, it says they have kitchens in the dorms. Those are just microwaves. It's just microwaves on each floor and some sinks. I don't consider that a kitchen, but it is what it is. So. If you're like me and you like to cook, you'll be disappointed. But get those microwavable dinners. You'll need a lot of them. Um, there's also vending machines too, but there are no stoves. Um, and you're not allowed to like have like heating appliances, like cooking appliances and stuff like that. Um, Cause my freshman year they did do room checks. So be aware of that. I mean, unless you bring one, like make sure you don't get caught. But um, another thing is I stayed in Jubilee Hall for my freshman year. Um, I stayed on the fourth floor, which in my opinion and a lot of my other like uh, hall neighbors, it's not the best floor. That floor is so sad. No, I'm not trying to diss my school or anything, but I do wish they would fix um, the living areas. The reason they don't fix it apparently is because it's their oldest building on campus and they have a lot of, they held a lot of events there. So uh, people do come there to look and, you know, get some historical facts and stuff. But I do wish they would touch it up just a bit, like the living areas for us. Because fourth floor, um, it's a little cold. It's cold and it just looks unappealing compared to the other floors. Um, and then it's really a hassle if the elevator's not working because then you gotta take the stairs. That's like three flights of stairs or so. <sighs> it was a struggle um, freshman year. But uh, yeah, so I do recommend that you bring a lot of decoration stuff. You don't have that much room to decorate, but try to make your um, space feel a little homey. Uh, there was a lot of, they need to like repair that area because the sometimes the heaters in some people's rooms, the air conditioner thing would be leaking or just not working. And then in our room, our window couldn't completely close. So there was like a crack under under there. Um, so when it rained, it got, the water got all on my my roommate's bed. It was, it was so terrible. But um, yeah, so keep that in mind. So there's microwaves, no stoves. There's vending machines and sinks for the kitchen area. And uh, the rooms are small. So make sure you bring like decorations to make it, you know, feel up, feel comfortable. Um, another thing, there is no on-campus doctor or nurse. Um, there is Meharry Hospital right next to the college, but I'm pretty sure that's just for like emergencies. Um, cause freshman year, lucky me, I got sick like after the first couple of weeks of school and I asked around for like where do I go 
like do does campus have like a medical center or anything and it's almost like I was speaking Spanish because they I I don't know if no one's gotten sick before but um they didn't really know what to suggest they suggested like this one place down the street but I called them and they were booked or whatever um and then like I said my hair seems like it's for like really important stuff so I'm not very um social as it is I'm not very outgoing um so I had to call like a doctor maybe 15 minutes away from campus by car and that was very stressful because I haven't went to the doctor by myself before and I'm just like getting situated into college so it was a little a little much but um yeah so keep that in mind also um they've gotten better with their food this semester or this year um I think they they did change the people that were in the cafeteria. They changed some of them because freshman year they used to serve like a whole bunch of chicken, like a lot of chicken. I, it's not like that I don't like chicken. It's just that I do want it to be switched up sometimes. But um, on Wednesdays that's usually fried chicken day, and make sure um, you get in line like really early because the line will span to the door. It's it's ridiculous. Make sure you get there early. Um, oh, also, I don't know if they're still doing this because of the pandemic that's going on right now, but my freshman year, we had a, a couple of mandatory assemblies. They counted attendance. Um, I didn't expect them. I'm, the school is very traditional and churchy, so we would have assemblies in the chapel. Um, sometimes they'd just be talking to us, or maybe like for we had one for Martin Luther King Day that we had to go to. Um, I don't know if they're still doing that right now, but yeah. So I, I don't know, when I got to college, I just expected us to be like on our own and like, us just having to you know just do whatever I didn't think we'd have to like have mandatory meetings I sort of felt like I was in high school but whatever um also if you got a scholarship you gotta volunteer to um keep up your scholarship so it's not only dependent on your GPA but um some scholarships you have to get 25 hours per semester of volunteer hours and then another scholarship you have to get like 50 hours per semester um i don't know what the other numbers would be but yeah um make sure you volunteer and keep your gpa up for that scholarship um, also, since it's a small school, there's like not a lot of majors to choose from because it's a small university. So, I mean, that's to be expected, um, just so you're aware. So you might like want to look on the website and see what majors they have and see if like any of them you're interested in doing. Oh yes, there's only like a couple of food places within walking distance. Um, of course you can like have food delivered, but if you want to walk somewhere, um, there's this chicken place most people go to, Helen Tot Chicken. There's this Pizza Gyro Express that's also like near the chicken place. And then there's a Smoothie King. Those are the only places I know, those are the only food places that are nearby that are like at least five to seven minute walking distance depending on what residence hall you're in um oh yeah i was unaware of like the norms for greek fraternities and sororities um make sure you don't sit on their their uh stuff in their area because like there's this there's some areas where 
for certain like fraternities they have little chairs and like I don't know what it's called but don't go over there if you're not in it and then there's this other area in front of the residence hall quick story freshman year um I was walking with my my friend and we passed by this group of girls and uh they were like standing in the middle of the sidewalk so I had to go um slightly to the right to go past them and then one of them said don't step on the uh, I think she called it a plaque it's like there's a a triangle of names of people in this sorority I think it's a sorority but um I accidentally stepped on it. I didn't even see it because it was dark outside and I was just trying to get by. And I was like, what? And she was like, don't step on it because, um, well, clearly you don't want to step on some. It, I guess it's just like respectful if you're not in it, don't step on it. It makes sense. Although I don't know why they put it right in front of the residence hall because it's very inconvenient. Um, no disrespect, but just keep that in mind. I was unaware of such things, but, uh, yeah. Also, the financial aid and the registrar, while in this pandemic, they've been responding. They don't respond the quickest, so you might have to call and email a lot of times. Yeah. So that's all the things you need to know. I hope I didn't like, I'm not trying to diss my school or anything. I'm just saying like stuff I wish I knew before I came. Um, I do love my school. I love the people. The people are really nice and friendly and they're just cool. I like them. Um, I am glad that I came to this school because I'm used to being at a small school. So this was an easy transition. And I don't know, the people, it just makes it so comfortable. And like, you feel like you, when you're a Fiskite and you see other Fiskites, you feel like family, at least to me. Um, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you um, took these things to uh, in consideration when you're choosing a school. And yeah, so have an awesome day.